Hey guys, just want to provide a quick overview for today's running session. So we start with a six minute warm up, a simple two minute jog. You can break that up however you like, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, or 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off, however you, whatever feels best for your body on that day. And then about four minutes of mobility of your own choice. So where you do some hamstring work, lower back, upper back, spine mobility, uh, groin mobility. So listen to your body and, and attend to where it needs um, on a needs basis. In terms of our run, uh, it's nothing flashy. It's just a simple uh, aerobic run session. We've got six 60 second efforts. And the way those efforts are broken up, uh, we start with a 30 second jog. So that would be at a, a slow pace, definitely slower than what you're running at for your 2K time trial average pace. So easy pace, if you're doing it with a mate, you should be able to hold a conversation while moving at that pace. So 30 seconds, easy running, easy jog. Then we move up a little bit of speed. So 15 seconds at a run pace. So for this, it will be either at what a 2K time trial pace feels like or above it, depending on how you feel on the day. So listen to your body and something that you should be able to consistently hit for all six efforts. Uh, but we're definitely not sprinting or we're not moving at repeat speed pace. Okay, so it is a slower day today. And then at 15 seconds, walk recovery between efforts. All right, so that rounds out our 60 second. We have six of those efforts to equal a rep. And we have three minutes rest in between reps. That rest can be a three minute walk if you're doing this outdoors. Um, or if you're doing it on a treadmill, you can have complete passive rest. So it's up to you how you want to use those three minutes, but we're definitely not um, exerting ourselves. Make sure you're getting adequate recovery so the next repetition is at similar uh, quality as the first. All right, so it's all about consistency on this day. It's a good opportunity to focus on your cadence. So we want short, quick steps, making sure that you're not running, you know, doing long strides or heel striking, you're running uh, on your midfoot, uh, and you're feeling relaxed with good rhythm with your running, connected to your breath, both when you're working, but also focus on your breath in your recovery periods. If you've got a heart rate strap, look at your heart rate and um, focus on breathing, doing long side breaths to lower that heart rate in the three minute period. Um, so you're well recovered going into the next set. And that's a good skill to have as a footballer because you can transfer that into when we are playing games, you can better recover um, with the time that you have on the bench or between efforts on the field. Uh, so breathing is really, really important for the aerobic energy system. So making sure that you're focusing on your breath, that's what the aerobic sessions are all about. Um, so make sure that you're moving at an easy pace, it's sustainable and you're consistent every repetition. I hope this helps guys. If you have any questions, make sure to reach out on the Team Builder app. Cheers.